So the speech um, that I'm going to recite is not mine, it's Bibi Zainab's from um, her sermon from Kufa. Um, I think her sermon both in the courtyard of Yazid and in Kufa um, is filled with so many lessons and we only usually hear or read small quotes and captions from it, so I wanted to recite the whole thing. O oh, people of Kufa, O oh, you deceivers, O oh, you who break your pledges and retreat back, you traitors, may the cries never end and the tears never diminish. You are like the woman who painstakingly and with great labor twines a strong rope and then herself unwinds it, thereby wasting her effort and energy. Your false pledges contain no element of truth and sincerity. Your tactic has been, has been flattering the maids and nodding your heads in agreement to the enemies. Beware. For you have sponsored a very wrongful act, for which Allah is completely displeased with you. Without a doubt, his wrath shall soon descend upon you. Are you now crying? Yes, by Allah, you should weep, because you deserve the tears. Cry immensely and laugh less, for you are contaminated with such shame and disgrace that you will never be able to wash it off. How could you exonerate yourself from the crime of slaying the son of the last Prophet Muhammad and the mine of prophethood? Was he not the master of the youth in paradise? Was he not the one who you would go to whenever you had tribal fights and disagreements? Was he not your best choice to solve your own problems and worries? What bad have you brought upon yourselves? And what heavy burden are you carrying? Annihilation, downfall. Efforts were lost and hands ceased from work, causing for business and capital to be lost. You placed yourself in the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you manifested yourselves in greed and begging. O oh, the people of Kufa, woe be upon you. Do you know which part of the messenger of Allah you have cut, and which vow you have broken, and whose blood you have shed, and which respected family you have brought to the public as captives, and whose sanctity you have violated? You have done that which would tear down the skies and open the earth and make mountains vanish. As far as the earth goes and as deep as the skies go, your obvious deed has no like, no similarity, and no decency. Indeed, you have done the ugliest, the most grievous and gruesome deed. Will you be surprised if the skies rain blood? Remember the punishment of the Day of Judgment, which will be, which will be much more severe and much harsher. That is because no one has the power of Allah. 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 Allah.